My question is, why don't we have more of a squatting culture in Montreal when we live in a moment of housing crisis and when historically there's been some interesting squatting activism in the city? Before we get into this whole conversation, maybe we should start by defining what a squat actually is. So like, what is a squat? Well, there's two types of squats. So there's what you usually imagine in your head when you're thinking of squatters, which would be, you know, people who might be, you know, unhoused, who find abandoned buildings and squat there out of necessity. But then there's also political squats, which is what we usually, you know, hear from uh, people in Europe who have like these big cultural squats where people go there with a political intent, right? People will take over a building to draw attention to a housing crisis or there's a lack of uh, cultural spaces, so they just take up a building. In 2001, there were the Overdale and Prefontaine squats. They decided, you know, there's um, a housing crisis, we're going to squat here, we're going to draw attention. They, they didn't think it was going to last, you know, they thought it was going to be a few days just to, to get the message out there, but it ended up lasting months. So the city actually gave them the Prefontaine building in order to get them to leave the Overdale building. And so they did. They moved to the Prefontaine building, and that's when things started to change a little bit. So you got punks, squeegees, homeless people, uh, some families who were, who were kicked out, you know, didn't have any place to go on July 1st. So it was like this weird mix of people. So there was like this, this clash between us, who were political activists, the squeegees, the families, and then we were on our kids. This squat goes on for several months. It lasts into the fall. And Alana says that she remembers uh, the eviction, remembers watching this eviction happen on television. She described it as a violent uh, eviction. The riot squad uh, just goes into the building, kicks everybody out, out on the street, without their belongings. Um, a lot of people were there. That's the only thing they had in life. Do we have a sense of how much squatting is happening in Montreal right now, today? It's hard to say because we don't have any of these big, overtly political squads that are in your face, but we do have a lot of unhoused people who are finding shelter. 